hello there. This is an update for our three most popular tools and we have updated them to Blender 4.1. And in Blender 4.1, we have a few extra features and nodes that we can use. So for all these tools, we have cleaned up the parameters with the menu uh, item. So as we can see here, we uh, have selected this stitch and in the menu item, we can now choose which one we want. And also uh, with the symbols in front, you can see what the stitch is. So if we go, for example, to the cross, we see that we have crosses. We have to give it a little bit more distance to see. Uh, we can do an align stitch. We need a little bit more distance. We can have a double stitch uh, and so on. As you can see, let's uh, go back to this one, a little bit less distance. Then here you see all the different ones. Uh, now we also added two, which are the star stitch and the triple stitch. We already had the triple stitch here, which is this triple stitch, which is tangent to the line that you draw. And this is the triple stitch that is uh, aligned with the line that you draw. And here in the double triple stitch width, you can give it a little bit of extra width for this one and also for this one. So you can make a very tight uh, pattern, which almost looks like a band with these parameters. So that is what we did for the stitch curve and also for the mess mesh stitch. So with this one, you can uh, take a vertex group. As you can see here, we selected the uh, vertices of this mesh and put them in a group. And in this group, you also have the same parameters and uh, the same menus as the other one. So that's it for the stitch uh, tool that we updated. We also updated the zipper tool. As you can see here, we give ourselves a little bit more space. We have the uh, tooth that you can choose. And we have five options. Here you see number four and number five. And we also have a custom. And here you can select your own custom mesh for the teeth that will be projected here. So that's how it works to choose your own custom one. These are just the teeth that are in here. And the same with the heads. We have one, two, three, four. And also if you select custom, you can put your own custom mesh in here. What is also new is that I linked now the material color. So it's a parameter and you can easily choose whichever color you want for your uh, zipper elements. We also here have the textile color if you want to change that one as well. Maybe make it a bit lighter, you can go really crazy. Um, and here you can still just put your own material if you want to make it metallic or do something else with it. The metallic is, I think, already in here. Uh, zipper silver. Yeah, you can just select it. It's already in the file. So that's it for the, the zippers. Like probably in the future, I'm going to add some more different zipper heads and teeth to give a little bit more variation. But here I already cleaned up the parameters a lot with these menu items, which is really nice. Then third, we also updated the uh, dimension tool set. And here we also add menu items and that is for the units. So you can select meters, centimeters, millimeters, inches and feet. As you can see here, it changes. And we did that for almost all of them uh, where there is a unit that can change for the corner. We just have degrees, so you don't have a menu item there. Um, but for this one, the annotation, we have an alignment menu where you can say if you want to have it aligned in the X axis, in the Y, the Z or aligned to camera. You do have to select your camera here and then it will always be aligned to your camera. 
And also that is the same for all the other ones. So uh, select your camera that you are using and then align the rotation to the camera. So it's always facing the camera. So that is the update for this, uh, these three tools. And I hope you like it again.